I wanted to share uh, a recent blog article I wrote was three tips for three workouts for a faster half marathon. And I wanted just to put in a video form in case it's easier. But what I'm sharing is in my experience having run and having trained with a, um, a world-class coach the, uh, the last 10 years, an Olympian, uh, who's amazing. And I would love to refer to you if you're interested. Three of the workouts he's given me uh, to help me run a faster half marathon. And I think these workouts are extremely helpful for that process. So the first one is the the 40 minute fart lick. And what I love about this workout is that it's speed play. And the way the workout goes is that you're gonna do your warm up and cool down. And then it's a 40 minute workout where you do three minutes at your half marathon pace, two minutes of an easy jog, two minutes at your 10K pace, one minute of an easy jog, one minute at your 5K pace, one minute easy jog, and then you're going to repeat for a total of 40 minutes. And the reason why I like this workout is that the 10K and the 5K efforts are going to be taxing and you're going to get fatigued as the workout progresses. And you learn to start recovering at your half marathon pace, which is extremely valuable when you want to run a good half marathon, is feeling comfortable at that pace, feeling that like that pace is a recovery pace. It's a great workout for that one. The second one is the, the six mile tempo run. And this is a workout where you're going to build up to it over your training cycle. That's how my coach has me doing it, where you're going to be running six miles at your goal half marathon pace. The benefits are obvious. You're going to learn what that pace feels like. You're going to build confidence that you can hold that pace for a half marathon because you're going to be doing this in the midst of a training cycle where you have a lot of volume. The way it works typically is that you don't start week one at six miles at a tempo. You're going to be maybe one mile, two mile half marathon pace, and you're slowly building up to it. And then you culminate a few weeks out at your six mile pace. And I think this is a great workout because you're going to build that confidence that you can run this pace for at least six miles, which means that you can grin and bear it when you are tapered and rested for the rest of the half marathon. And the last critical workout, I believe, is the long run. I think it's hard to get away from the fact that the half marathon is an aerobic effort. And to build your aerobic capacity and engine, you have to do long runs. For me, having a long run that culminates that is at least 15 miles, maybe longer, and doing that multiple times throughout a training cycle is very important. And it's not so much the speed of the long run, it is being on your feet for that extended period of time. That's what's building your aerobic engine. It's a fantastic workout that my coach has prescribed to me forever. Um, I don't always love doing it because it can be boring and monotonous, but I do think that's the bread and butter of running a good half marathon. So if you're looking to run a faster half marathon, look at your training plan. Uh, if you do it yourself, think about putting these different workouts into it or audit your plan against these workouts. And uh, if you have a coach, suggest it to your coach. See if these are coaches, the, these workouts that might work into your planning, uh, training plan. And best wishes on chasing your half marathon goals.